too profound, we freeze the drummers here I'll be true, the message clear Go Paul Dance and Paul, they say the way So writer, leave the way Time to madness, it's play Gotta wake up, see the light Well, Phil, that's amazingly descriptive. Yeah, and it's all very simple. Uh, everything is. Everything's very simple, like the sun shining. So this is part of your wake up. As you're doing the do you. It's like joining the military and going through the boot camp. You know, just I don't know if you've ever been in the military. But you can imagine it, and that is you just you sign a piece of paper and you're in. It's that simple, really. All of a sudden, you're in the military. Now, what do you go through? I don't know if you've ever seen movies, uh, but there are plenty of them where people are going in the movie, into the military, into boot camp, and then they start to go through hell. Yeah, because it's getting you ready. It's knocking out all the nonsense, okay? And you got a lot to go. And just like Eric's experiences, if you haven't heard him, you should talk to him about him, where he's getting the shit beat out of him, okay? And I understand that it gets old, and um, I go through things myself. I have ever since I've been in this, and it doesn't even matter if you've been in this or anything. This is how creation is. Creation is not what we think it is. In other words, look at the stories and rumors you've been told since you've got to this very moment. You've been told all these stories and rumors. You've been raised by your parents, especially your mother, telling you sweet little things. Oh, you're a good little boy, and I love you, and all these things like that. And, you know, go to school, be a good boy, you know, just do this, do the best you can. All these little stories from wherever. And you watch TV, you watch maybe Disney on Sunday nights and all these things. And yeah, you, you just, uh, you're in this dream world and that's what it is. Now what you're seeing is the real side of it. Okay. That's as to what is actually going on here, because see, this is a front is what it is. Just like the clothes you wear, they're fronts. Okay. They are, you might say you're disguised, you're hiding things. You notice the natives and the indigenous people, they usually just wear the bare minimum, okay? And even if it's really cold or whatever, unless you're an Eskimo in Alaska, et cetera, but they wear, wear the bare minimum because they're more so with the environment and everything's exposed. You know, they're exposed to the environment. In other words, they're willing to expose themselves to the environment because they want to be with the environment. But look at civilized people. They don't want to be exposed to the environment. They wear all kinds of stuff, layers and layers of clothes, etc. See, So most of this stuff is to get your attention. It's you're going back and forth. You're taking back and forth, back and forth, just like in a boot camp. You go here, you go there, you go wherever. They're taking you here. One day you're here, and next day you're running 20 miles, and you're somewhere else, and whatever, etc. And things look funny. Well, that's because trying to get your attention. See, you're thinking that where you are right here, right where we are, oh, this is normal. Well, there's no such thing. This is a place that your physical body is in. And you'll notice that even though the other bodies like the physical body, it is not your physical body. It's one of your other bodies. And you're also seeing things that are affecting you, the tap lining, the influences, etc., that are affecting you, that the physical body that's wrapped around these other bodies, you might say, we'll just use that idea, doesn't see because there's a curtain there. You don't see behind the curtain. You're only seeing what you want in this world, you see? And so all these funny things that you go through. And the tomatoes are interesting, too, why they picked out the tomatoes. Now, 
you said before that you're growing things in your garden. I was just wondering, are you growing tomatoes? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, supposedly, now, you know, I have to go off of the scientific stuff that's here, too, unless I'm showing, unless I discover different. So, for the most part, I go off of it. I'll go to Google, I'll go to someone, I'll talk to someone, I'll hear a doctor, a therapist, a... Uh, wait, a, wait, you go to Google? Whatever. To Google. You said them. Google's incorrect, like always. I didn't say Google is correct. So again, uh, no, you Eric, said it's incorrect. You told me to use Bing last week. It's not about that it's correct or incorrect. It's just Google. Okay. It's lies. It's, it's a reference. And it doesn't mean it's correct or incorrect. It's simply a re reference like anything. You said reference. it was like a lie, bro. To what the people at top want us to see. Well, in a way it is, Eric, but you're taking it one dimensionally literal. In other words, there's always I'm just going off what you were saying, man. Yeah, but that's literal. You see, see because you're I, one dimensional. I didn't think you were and literal. You, to you, everything is black and white. Okay, but there's more to it. So again, wait for the next explanation. Okay. So go ahead and mute. Let's get let's get through uh, through Phil's thing here first, okay? And so, uh, you know, as you as you as you're experiencing this now, like I'll use the reference tomatoes, uh, tomatoes, uh, because we are men, we have a male body, okay? We have prostate, and because of the food we're eating, the heavy metals, et cetera, this really affects the prostate a whole lot, heavy metals. You know, even the silverware you're using, whatever, there's heavy metals in it. There's heavy metals in uh, anything you're doing, especially like uh, if you're drinking sodas or anything in a can or whatever, aluminum, heavy metals going in your body all the time, all right? So anything that uh, your mouth is attached to metal, you're getting heavy metals. And plus it's in the air, it's in the chemtrails, and it affects your prostate. Now, tomatoes have certain things in them that are good for the prostate, especially when they're cooked. It's even better. Okay, you can research that yourself. So there are certain things that we'll just say scientifically apply to the mechanics of the physical body. Okay. All right. So you have to learn to discriminate this in the world. Okay, so not everybody uh, tells the truth. Getting to the point here, Phil, and that is, is that you're given multiple views. You'll notice that you're given multiple views that in some way do, but for the most part, do not correspond to what you think is reality or your personal life here. Remember, this is its own reality. I'm showing you kids this. This is its own reality. And you can agree to this for as long as you want. It's fine. I agree to it too. It's a position. It's a place in creation. It's a place in life. But it is not life. You've been told that it is life. You've been fooled. It's not life. It's something made up. It's a thing called creation. And you're in a simulator. So now you're seeing the different layers of what has taken place. Just like you look at your physical body. Oh, it looks fine. Oh, you know, it's, uh, everything's fine. I'm young. You know, the, the body, there's no wrinkles, whatever, however you see it. But you don't see what's going on inside the body, do you? And all the parasites and all the things and the worms. Well, and sometimes stuff. you can get an x-ray. X-rays don't show all that, okay? You actually need to take samples, blood samples, and it has to go under a microscope, I think. So again, it just depends upon how far you go. X-rays only show certain things. They don't show everything. They don't show certain cancers and whatever. Of Sometimes they, show they, do. Dick. they don't show everything. Okay. So you know, Eric, just think of this like medical school, and the instructor is talking to you. So is that what you're going to say in medical school? Hell yeah. Well, then they're going to kick you out because they don't want to hear you. No, so again, right. you have to be at some point respectful. And especially if you're going through boot camp, 
you're going to get the shit really beat out of you. Okay, you're just starting because you're a hard ass. You would know a thing or two about be- beating the shit out of you, wouldn't you, Doy? Well, the thing is, is Eric, it's you doing it to yourself. And until you face yourself, it's going to keep happening because you're going to be in creation for as long as it takes for you to face yourself. You're and saying I need to like face my fear? Everything. So even things you can't so even So I imagine. should beat you up. That will only get you into more trouble. Okay? Why? So again, I'm saying, and you're not listening as usual, you're to face yourself. It's not about me. It's all about you. Each one of us, it's only about... Well, I tried to face myself it. earlier uh, to see if I'm a donut, and I'm not a donut, so... It's just that you don't see it yet, see? So again, you don't see below the surface. So you eventually just... I'll see myself in the mirror as a donut. See, again, you want to play the literal game, and as long as you do, that's where you're well, going to... that's what you said. See, things don't go off what I say. Those are references, Eric. And see, I take all this time to explain this to you, but you want it your way. Well, that is the Burger King slogan. Well, well actually, that is that's right. Yeah, you want it your way, and no, what well, is let's have it your way? Actually, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? No, it's a Burger King slogan. It means that the you always right. said nothing because it's not about what life is. So until you face yourself, it's about Burger King. Get through it and recognize what life is. Well, you have to deal with it. Okay, so that's so no Burger to, King. All I can do is provide you with, you know, uh, again, you're explaining to me your experiences, and I'm giving you references and hints as to how to get through it, or you stay stuck with it. So again, just like uh, Phil's experience, your your experience is exaggerated, Phil, but. You're in a sticky world, okay? And actually, your personal self doesn't see it, but you are suffocating. And so now you're experiencing that suffocation realistically because of your consciousness, okay? And how it really is and how absorbed you are. And that's all okay. It's not about good and bad. That's what's so cool about the real guidance. It's not the old stuff or the religious stuff or it's like, oh, the devil's got you and you're a bad person. All that. No, it's not about that at all. It's about learning to see what's going on with yourself and how you've created this consciousness and then to face it and get through it. That's it. It's going to take time, but you can do it. Just like becoming a plumber. Hey, it's not about good or bad. You just decide to be the plumber. And eventually you learn it, you pick it up, and wow, all of a sudden, voila, at some at some point, and even when you are the so-called plumber and people hire you, you're still learning, aren't you? See, so it's not about good and bad, right or wrong. It's about doing something, having the experience, and learning to recognize what you're going through. So as you're having these experiences, of course you're not really seeing what you're going through. Because these things have been unseen to you and you're not familiar with them. But as you continue to go through them, now you're starting to recognize this factory that you go back to every once in a while. And many people have that experience. Well, that's the earth. It's a, That's the business world. It's a factory, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a big factory. And there are things going on in there. And people are telling you, someone's telling you, you know, keep going. And you're wondering, what does that mean? What it means is, is that just keep doing something until you wake up to figure it out. And it's going to take a lot. Okay? There it is in a nutshell. And you can get through it if you don't stop. That's up to you. Now, the desert represents the unknown because there's nothing created there it's just sand it's emptiness people think oh i'm lost you're not lost it's the unknown you need to recognize and this is where people see mirages because all of a sudden they start seeing things that they haven't seen before because all life is unseen it's not what you know what i've said this before it's what you don't know that's real 
everything that you do know. Yeah. All life is awareness. And speaking yeah. of awareness, tomato awareness G Fuel. It's really, really good. It's in store but right that, now. I recommend going and buying it. I would recommend researching the people that create it. Yeah. It's really good. It's now, on store shelves. I, I, There's probably one in so you. Are. I'm guessing that Phil is familiar Phil. with the monster drink because Eric isn't Phil. Uh, Eric's rather done. This Monster very, sucks oh, ass. Do not buy Monster. Monster it's drink. Horrible. Are you familiar with that? Phil? Feel is where it's at. Yes. Yeah. And that is total crap. Mind control, etc. All the I drinks totally are agree. All the drinks are. No, I don't agree anymore. Again, research the dude that makes. Research the people that make the drink. That'll tell you a lot. Probably Bill Gates is part of it. Well, yeah, I when met the CEO on the cruise. He was like super chill. Everybody's a puppet that you're meeting, dude. There's always somebody behind the scenes that you're not meeting. You I didn't meet imagine that. being like a puppet. You know, what you're I mean? meeting the front guy. You're not meeting the real guy. You see, that's oh yeah, I am fronting, but that's different. That's, that's different. the business world. That's the business world. When you meet the business world, you're meeting the front guys. You're not meeting the real people that control the business world because they're hidden. Have fun. And guess what, Eric? As you promote it, whatever you promote, and it will show up, all deception does, you're responsible. Just like the guys that do the chemtrails, you're responsible. I've been approached. I mean, if we're comparing to chemtrails, I'm not super worried. I've been approached by idiots like this before, and I said no. Because I know exactly where it goes and what they're doing. No, they're not idiots. They're actually drink geniuses. Good luck. It'll show up. You'll see. I mean, I personally think it kind of tastes like crap. I'd rather drink uh, pure water. Will. See, that's Bro, where they got fooled. It's not about the taste. It's tomato and grass. It's why they made it, okay? Why it's have they made it? Super aware. And it boosts your cum. <laughs> well, it'll take time. This is where the 50 years comes in, Eric. So I'm not going to explain everything to you. You will experience it, okay? You will eventually see it. Yeah. Because it all shows up, Eric. Mm -hmm. At first, it looks really good. You know, it's like the like uh, the president of the United States up there making a speech. Oh, it sounds really good, doesn't it? Until you find out it's all BS, and they arrest him. Well, I mean, in. you're kind of foolish for thinking it's not BS in the first place. It's just politics. Well, again, you're on a human farming planet, okay? And guess who runs the business world, shapeshifters? HFP, for sure. No. They run the world, and what you're seeing is the puppets, their front men. That's what you see. That's who you're talking to. You're not talking to the real people. Yeah. Just consider donut, Eric. It. Uh, I. It's not late. I still don't get it. It's got to go, 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 go through it. So again, I still it's don't okay. Get it. uh, am I transforming into a donut? You're already a donut. You just don't see it. Well, I went you're to the mirror and I, I'm still human. No, you're not transforming, Eric. You you are a donut. You know. You notice that donuts come in boxes. Look at yourself. How much time you spend? Well, not in always. Your if you go if you go and order one donut, it tends to not come in a box. All donuts put themselves in boxes. Little box, big box with other donuts, whatever. Usually it's the employees that put them in there. They all end up in boxes. Look at how much time you spend in the house, Eric. Oh, yeah, because I'm getting sick dubs. Well, your choice, Eric. It's your life. It's all okay, Eric. Whatever you're doing, it's all okay. All I can do is provide references and hints for you. What you do is up to you. It's all Excuse okay. Me. Yeah, it's all okay. You do it now, you do it later. Whatever, doesn't matter. You know, look at the air you breathe. Does it care? 
No, they don't care. But it supports you, doesn't it? Every moment. You don't consider the air at all. Without it for 60 seconds or, you know, two minutes, you're gone. And you don't even consider the air or appreciate it, do you? No, and it supports you. You're right. I, I should become more uh, appreciative of the air. Yeah. And I think the best way to go about that is to remove it. You know what I mean? Like if I if I can't breathe for some amount of time, then that's a good way to appreciate the air. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, like when you're underwater and all of a sudden you're gasping for air. So very, very yeah. real. So do you think and I should go Phil's underwater for a little bit? Look at Phil's experience. He's gasping for air in his experience. Well, he sure is. Yeah. So it's a metaphor, uh, Phil, in your experience. And that is, is that because the air is aware. OK, I wrote a piece on that, too. Awareness, like tomato okay. awareness, G fuel. It's in stores right now. You can go to the store and buy some. I wouldn't tell little kids that because you're responsible. Just Eric, you, you should really try alkaline water. It'll clear the heavy metals from your system. It'll help, yes. Yeah. Why would I drink it? You want pH <laughs> of 11, there is. 11 <laughs> or higher. <laughs> Why would I drink water when there's tomato awareness G fuel? It's really all you ever need. It's like super That's cheap. What off it's right there. there. Why should I not, uh, you know, uh, you know, invade Poland? You know, really, why? Why should I not? I I'm sorry, could you track that one back? I wasn't listening for a second. Uh, yeah, see, Eric hasn't seen many movies because he's been so indoors, Phil. And so, again, I give well, I've him. Seen some, I've seen the Emoji movie. Uh, I saw G.I. Jane. I don't uh, know. I saw uh, Thor, Love and Thunder. He saw some cartoons, and then he's telling me all this. No, no, Thor, Love and Thunder was like a, it, it's a, it's a Marvel movie. Okay, fine. I fine. actually went and watched the new Joker movie recently, and it was super good. I'll bet. I, I recommend it. It's a yeah. solid movie. Eric, Again. I think you need to go watch Clockwork Orange. There's a lot of helpful information in that. Yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, I know. That's an old one. Yeah, that's that's donut and now I'm an Kubrick, uh, who did 2001, did that one, did that movie. Mm -hmm. I'm very familiar because I've watched movies all my life, and movies are documentaries. They're showing you what's going on on the planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, yeah. what does Thor Love and Thunder have to do with anything on the planet? Well, you saw the movie. Uh, you know, you're a big boy now. You're a big donut. You can figure it out. I thought I was the big brain. Well, that's what that's what you think you are. So I'm actually the big donut. That's closer. Is that and my new title? Let's let's look at a brain. OK, shall we? And it's more like. Kind of a gooey, you, flow chart? you know, like an apple fritter or something. What what the hell is the brain? Look at it. It's a gooey. What the hell is it? A gooey. It's a gooey gooey. That's all Please it is. Not. And so you're proud of being the big brain, the big goo. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's a you gave me that title, man. Donuts. I didn't give you that title. You're the one that did all that stuff. I didn't do any of that. You decided that you're the big brain. You're the gamer. Okay. Yeah. Just add a little bit of glaze, Eric, and it might help you see slip how, out of that. Yeah, there you go. See, see how we label ourselves. Now, really, is that what you want? You labeled be? me a donut. Glazed donut. Sorry, my bad. Well, Phil, do you have a problem with me? I ref do you have a problem with him, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you'd be asking that right now, Eric. <laughs> I know. Well, it just seems like you're in a mood, man. <laughs> Bro, I, you, I went on through with you, and I love you, man. Yes. But, like, yep, yep, I don't know what your deal is right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's all okay. It's all okay. <laughs> it's it's got to light. It's okay. You got to lighten up. Okay, Phil's a plumber. Give him a break. He works hard.
ex-plumber. Well, whatever. Okay. So again, we play these roles. All right. I'm not really saying you. I'm big on acting. I'm saying you act like a donut. Okay. There's a difference. All right. I don't know. Donut has like a set of actions. <laughs> you know, just like actors. Hey, have you ever seen a kids play in school? But you know, if it, when parents have children, they go to school. And I remember my daughter, Lindsay, she was in like this little play too. And some of the plays on stage that, you know, you go see your kids, you know, they're like in second, Hello. third grade or whatever. You know, sometimes one of them's got to be a rock. He's got to play a rock. Another one's a tree. Okay. Sometimes they dress up as a mouse or whatever. You see, again, I'm so lying. they're so they're acting the part, aren't they? You see, Eric, there's a difference. No, you're not a donut. You're awareness, but you're acting like a donut. Awareness, just like tomato awareness, G fuel. Like the just air. Source, I recommend is going aware. to burger some. Give it a try. The air is aware. So if you want to be a burger or a dragon, that's up to you. You I mean, can do that. Be pretty that you can play that role because you are awareness and you can do whatever you want. Together we rise up. 